Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the game Starfield working on a Windows computer through Steam. So if you want to play this game through the Steam client and you want to play this on a Windows computer, then this is going to take you through the entire process of playing this game. So this includes installing Steam, buying the game, and then getting Starfield working on this computer. So this tutorial is going to apply to the pre-release version of the game on Steam and also the full release after the official release of the game. So the first thing we're going to do is to open up our web browser. So I'm using Chrome and we're going to type in Steam into the web address bar here. So we can type in Steam and then on the first entry at the very top we get to steampower.com or you can go ahead and enter the full web address manually store.steampower.com and then we're going to get to this website. Then on the top right hand side we have this button here which says install Steam. So we're going to go ahead and click this button here and then we get to the install page here. And because we're running Windows, it's automatically detected. We want the Windows version of Steam, which we're going to click on now. And that's gone ahead and downloaded for us. And then we're going to click on steamsetup.exe. So click on here. And if you can't find it there, then what you can do is you can go to File Explorer. And if you go to your Downloads folder, and then if you go to your Downloads folder, you're going to find steamsetup.exe here. Just double click on that and you'll be taken to this installation screen. Go ahead and press next. And then we're going to select our language. I'm going to select English. And then we're going to put this in a destination folder. So you could just leave it by default. Normally, I like to change this to a different folder. This helps with various permission issues. So I'm going to put mine in a folder called Games Steam. You can type in whatever you want in whichever location you want as well. Then we're going to go ahead and press the install button and it's gone ahead and started to install Steam from scratch. So this has only taken a few seconds to install. It shouldn't take too long. We also have our Steam shortcut, which just appeared on our desktop. So now Steam setup has completed. We've got the option here to run Steam. So I'm going to press finish and it's going to allow us to run Steam. It's going to do a little update as well. So now that we've installed, we are met with the Steam login screen. And if you don't have an account already, you can create an account for free just by pressing this button. And then it's going to go ahead and give you the account creation form, which is completely free. Just type in your email address and then agree to the Steam subscription subscriber agreement. However, if you do have your own account, just type in your username and password, or you can sign in with the mobile app and scan the QR code. So what I'm going to do now is just log in with my mobile app. And now that I've scanned the code with my phone, this has now started to load my full account. So now that we have Steam installed, we can go ahead and do a search for Starfield. So basically, I'm going to do a search for the Starfield here, and it's asking us for our age. Make sure that you enter your birth date and then click View Page. So now on the Starfield page here, what we can do is to make a purchase of Starfield. So at the time of recording, if you want to play it right now, you need to buy the premium edition for early access. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to click Add to Cart. And it's saying here Starfield Digital Premium Edition is available for $85.99. I'm going to press Purchase for myself. And then what we need to do is enter all of our payment details, review and purchase, and then make that purchase. So make sure you have a valid credit card. If you want to be able to get Starfield for cheaper, what you can do is that you can go to the Starfield article on the PC Gaming Wiki website, and then you can go ahead and look at the availability table. And often there are Steam resellers, for example, Games Planet, which I'll leave a link to in the description, which is going to offer a substantial discount. For example, here, the Starfield Premium Edition is substantially less than the Steam version. And this is also going to get you the early access as well if you're trying to install this before the official release date. Let's press purchase here. And then I'm going to make a purchase through Games Planet. So it'll say within your account that the status is in review. Just wait a moment. So after a few minutes, if you just refresh the page, it'll say here, ready for download. We're going to go ahead and activate our Starfield Premium Edition. Just click on enable this product. And then we have the activation Steam keys here. So I'm going to copy and paste these keys. I'm going to put them into our Steam library, into our Steam client. So within Steam, we're going to go to Games. And then we need this button here, activate a product on Steam. So from here, Games, activate a product on Steam. Click on this. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste the code. So just press Control. V to paste what we copied into our clipboard and then press confirm. And then we're going to go ahead and get the pre order bonus as well. So copy this and then we're going to go to games, activate a product on Steam, and then we're going to right click and paste on here, press confirm. And this has successfully activated our Starfield pre order. So press OK here. So now that we have Starfield within our Steam library account, we can go ahead and do a search for this within our library tab. And we can go ahead and click the install button and then install this onto our computer here. So we're going to accept the end user licensing agreement and then it started its download process. So this is going to download 86 gigabytes of data and it's actually going to take a 
about 120 gigabytes of space. How fast this will download will depend on the speed of your internet connection. Just make sure to wait until this finishes downloading and then we can move on to the next step. So now once Starfield has finished its download, then we have this green play button, which has now appeared. So we can press play here and we're going to go ahead and launch the game. So now the game's loading up, it's starting the build shader process. So once we've accepted the end user licensing agreement, we can go ahead and play the game. If you want to get this game running through the Xbox Game Pass, then please make sure to follow the link in the description for a future tutorial video on how to get the Xbox app and Xbox Game Pass games working on Windows 11. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.